The push controller is an amazing tool for building up arpeggiated phrases, mainly because uh, in its most recent update, they've added Ableton have added a melodic step sequence of function. So usually harmonic information was represented like this in a kind of grid pattern where you could play off uh, notes in a sort of uh, cube base melodic kind of process or horizontally if you wanted um, but if you press the note button again you get your harmonic information represented in this way and what this basically is is uh, notes of a scale going up vertically you can see you can start moving it around with this slider with the slider on the side here um, the blue notes representing an octave so uh, eight notes between them and you can start using this to program out uh, or steps of a pattern the length of that pattern is defined by these boxes up here so if I just press that off you can hear you can see that it's playing off a two bar loop um, as indicated by the fact that it's flashing back and forth if I double tap that it will just play back a one bar loop which is what I'll start with now key mode or sorry scale mode becomes very important here because oh, the key I was working in before was A minor and push will actually compress the notes on this to be in the key that you define or you can take it out of key and it will show all 12 notes across um, chromatic scale so if I just go into the scale mode sorry scale mode um, and the thing I was working in before was A minor, so I'll just scroll over to A minor, and I'm now building a pattern that will fit in, into the rest of uh, the tune that we were building before. So what I might do is start mapping out a pattern. The other great thing about this is just a lot of fun. Um, so I might build the sort of bass note or the lower note and then start building the pattern up sort of a, as a step up of thumb up pattern that we were looking at before and then start playing around with it so maybe I'll move that one down here and then I can actually sort of double up some of these notes and maybe sounds pretty interesting. So let's see how it sounds with a bit of a beat behind it. So if I go over to session view, just put that drum loop back in. Back to my sequencing mode. Oops. Easy to forget that you have to scroll up and down with this through the harmonic content. So that sounds quite nice. Another great thing that you can do with the push in this mode is you can actually start editing the individual length of steps visually in a tactile fashion. So when I say length, the length of a note. So if I hold down this note, for example, I get these options here. I can nudge it sort of slightly off. Or I can change the step length. So if I extend that out, it's actually going to be a bit of a longer note. Or you can sort of fine tune the length of that to be sort of a 1.1 or a 1.2. And then you can change the individual velocity of that note. Another great thing about this is you can actually edit the automation. Um, behind individual notes that you're playing back. So, for example, if I want to put some automation on here, I just hold that down and press this automation button, and then I have access to the standard kind of automation features and functions that you would uh, for anything else. So, if I just go across into the actual device that I'm editing, rack off yeah so if I just hold that down 
and then I can start playing around with <clears throat> specific elements of that specific part of the phrase. So maybe I'll change the... Yeah, and then I might do the same with this one. And then maybe one of the bass notes, so the back one, I might change that. You can see it sort of gyrating around in that pattern that I just played out. Then what's great is you can double the length of it and it will just play that note out, play that um, phrase out again. So you've got the same arpeggiated pattern playing out. But in this case, I might just want to edit the back one and I might change that pattern. So I'll take that note off, maybe push those notes down in a similar pattern. That sounded quite good. And then just take a couple of points out, maybe. And you can quickly start building up some of those more techy sounding arpeggiated phrases using this in that, in that way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short seminar on arpeggiation and different ways you can use it, both use that approach to writing uh, harmonic phrases, uh, using both the tools within Ableton and then also uh, the push device using that fantastic new melodic step sequence of function that they've uh, added on relatively recently. Until next time.